Hey guys, so this is just a quick video in follow-up to what we were talking about before and this is about adjusting the DPI um, in ZBrush because uh, we had a good question which was um, if you're wanting to print onto paper or something like that then the standard DPI that you export at from ZBrush which is 72 DPI uh, would not necessarily be um, good enough for printing onto paper now there's no direct way to adjust the uh, DPI or PPI, if you want to call it pixels per inch or dots per inch, in ZBrush. However, you can still get good enough quality images to edit uh, by adjusting them in Photoshop. So the first thing we need to do is export our image from ZBrush, but in a much uh, larger size than we did previously. So in document you're going to set your uh, size to be something really quite big. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm using uh, 5,000 uh, uh, 5, resolution for the width. Um, ZBrush actually goes up to 8K resolution. Uh, so you can actually bring this all the way up to 8K resolution. Um, that's a little bit overkill for what I'm doing today. So I'm just going to make mine go down to 5,000. The larger you make this uh, document size, um, the more processing power it's going to require for you to be able to export the file. So once you've adjusted your document size to something like 5000, we're just going to zoom out quickly and just make sure that everything is in the kind of correct position within your document. We're then going to say go back to actual size and make sure that you've performed your render so that your image is uh, nice and clean. You're then gonna say file export and we'll just call this uh, large figure test uh, Photoshop format and press save. I'm then gonna go over to uh, Photoshop and I'm going to open that uh, Photoshop document Okay, and I'm then going to go over to image and uh, image size and I'm going to make sure I have sampling on and you can see that our canvas is huge, it's like 700, you know, it's over 100 centimeters uh, in both directions. So I'm going to change that to 300 dpi and press OK. It might take a little moment for that to update. Then what I'm going to do, just zoom out a little bit, is rather than trying to crop this into my paper size, I'm then just going to create a new document, select my paper size, so for example A4, you can obviously select lots of different ones from here, so A6, A3, A2, whichever size you want. I'm just going to go for A4 and press create. I'm going to go back to my test figure, select all, copy, and paste it into my new document. I'm then going to go edit, free transform, and then holding down shift to maintain the ratio, I can then actually resize this to fit on my A4 sheet. We can see here that we've got plenty of scaling to play with. So even if you were going to print this onto a, you know, an A3 sheet or, or even larger than that, exporting from ZBrush with that large resolution size really does give you enough, uh, enough scope to kind of play around. I'm then going to position that on my A4 sheet, press enter. And if I was to send this to the, the printer, so an inkjet printer, or whatever, I'm going to have a really nice, high quality uh, image for printing. I haven't lost any resolution. The, uh, the quality is still really nice. So that's how you go about um, exporting an image uh, with a high enough resolution to print onto paper.